Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today we're gonna to be going over how long the siren on an IQ Panel 2 sounds for. So that siren timeout can actually be adjusted to four, five, six, seven, or eight minutes. You actually can choose within the siren and, and alarms uh, programming menu, which you will need your installer and dealer or dealer code for. Now the siren timeout is how long the siren actually sounds for when an alarm goes off. So you can either set it to four, five, six, seven, or eight, and then obviously if you disarm the system, that will also stop the siren. Uh, now some panels, uh, if you have had previous systems, other brands or anything like that, you may have noticed some systems actually offer for the siren to sound indefinitely, meaning it goes off until somebody disarms it or until the system loses power. Um, this panel, however, does not have that. It only has between four to eight minutes. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to adjust that uh, right now. So first thing we wanna do is uh, hit the gray little button at the very top. That's gonna bring you down to your uh, menu. You're gonna hit settings. Uh, right now, my panel is not connected to Wi-Fi. If you do have yours connected to Wi-Fi, you won't see this error. I'm just gonna hit okay. I'm gonna go to advanced settings. I'm gonna enter in my installer or dealer code. Now your installer or dealer code on the IQ Panel 2 is usually, if you bought it brand new, the default codes would be 1111 or 2222. Now you or your company may have changed it, so you wanna make sure you are using the correct installer code or dealer code. For mine, since I have it defaulted, I'm just gonna enter in my 1111. From there, I'm gonna to go to installation. I'm going to go ahead and make my way over to sirens and alarms and I'm going to scroll down to where you see siren timeout. Now you see right now it's set to the default four minutes. That's what these panels usually come as. They come with this defaulted four minute siren timeout. If you click on it, you will actually see the options available four, five, six, seven to eight minutes and that's it. That is all you can scroll. You can't do any less than four minutes and you can't do any more than eight minutes. So um, I'm gonna leave it at four minutes, but here you can see you can actually adjust it to eight minutes if you'd like. Um, if you do hit eight minutes, it just goes out. But again, I'm gonna leave it as four minutes. And after you've adjusted your siren timeout, you're happy with the time limit set for it, you can just go ahead and hit the home button. That'll back you out to the main screen and uh, if you guys want, I'll show you guys right now what it looks like. So here we have a door window sensor that I have learned into my system. I'm going to go ahead and do system, system type. arm away. Once I remove this magnet from the actual contact, the alarm will go off. Um, I'm not going to leave it for the full four minutes because that's going to hurt my ears, but I'll show you guys that it will not turn off until I actually disarm it. and it will keep going like this until you've either disarmed it or until the siren timeout, which I have set for four minutes, goes off. So I think you guys kind of get the idea. It's gonna go off for four minutes. Again, if you guys have it set to whatever time limit, it will go off for that time limit. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just disarm my system. System is now disarmed. The sounder in this system is 85 decibels. You guys have an option of adding extra sirens as well, whether it's a wireless or a wired siren. We have a bunch of FAQs and products that you guys can look at, but um, 85 decibels is pretty loud. It's about the same sound as a lawnmower. It, it gets pretty loud. All right, so that is just a quick video showing you guys how to adjust the siren timeout. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to email us to support at alarmgear.com. If you found the video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and enable the notifications so whenever we upload new videos, you guys get notified. I'm George and I'll see you guys next time.